sap is a fluid transported in xylem cells of flow M sieve tube elements of a plant. These cells transport water and nutrients throughout the plant. Sap is not to be confused with latex resinous cell sap. It is a separate substance, separately produced, and with different components and functions. Types of sap. Saps may be broadly divided into two types, xylem sap and phloem sap. Xylem sap. Xylem sap consists primarily of a watery solution of hormones, mineral elements and other nutrients. Transport of sap in xylem is characterized by movement from the roots toward the leaves. Over the past century, there has been some controversy regarding the mechanism of xylem sap transport. Today, most plant scientists agree that the cohesion tension theory best explains this process. Process, but multi-force theories that hypothesize several alternative mechanisms have been suggested, including longitudinal cellular and xylem osmotic pressure gradients, axial potential gradients in the vessels, and gel and gas bubble supported interfacial gradients. Xylem sap transport can be disrupted by cavitation, an abrupt phase change from liquid to vapor, resulting in air-filled xylem Conduits, in addition to being a fundamental physical limit on tree height, two environmental stresses can disrupt xylem transport by cavitation. Increasingly negative xylem pressures associated with water stress and freeze thaw cycles in temperate climates. Flow M sap. Flow M sap consists primarily of sugars, hormones, and mineral elements dissolved in water. It flows from where carbohydrates are produced to stored to where they are used. The pressure flow hypothesis proposes a mechanism for flow M sap transport. Although other hypotheses have been proposed, flow M sap is also thought to play a role in sending informational signals throughout vascular plants. Loading and unloading patterns are largely determined by the conductivity and number of plasmodes mater and the position-dependent function of solid-specific plasma membrane transport proteins. Recent evidence indicates that mobile proteins and RNA are part of the plant's long-distance communication signaling system. Evidence also exists for the directed transport and sorting of macromolecules as they pass through plasmodes mater. A large number of insects of the order Hemiptera feed directly on flow M sap and make it the primary component of their diet. Flow M sap is nutrient-rich compared with many other plant products and generally lacking in toxins and feeding deterrence. It is consumed as the dominant or sole diet by a very restricted range of animals. This apparent paradox is explained by the fact that flow M sap is physiologically extreme in terms of animal digestion, and it is hypothesized that few animals take direct advantage of this because they lack two adaptations that are necessary to enable direct use by animals. These include the existence of a very high ratio of non-essential essential amino acids in flow M sap for which these adapted hemiptera insects contain symbiotic micro organisms which can then provide them with essential amino acids, and also insect tolerance of the very high sugar content, and osmotic pressure of flow M sap is promoted by the possession in the gut of sucrase transglucosidase activity, which transforms excess ingested sugar into long-chain oligosaccharides. A much larger set of animals to however consume flow M sap by proxy, either through feeding on the honeydew of flow M feeding hemipterans. Honeydew is physiologically less extreme than flow M sap, with a higher essential, non-essential amino acid ratio and lower osmotic pressure, or by feeding on the biomass of insects that have grown on more direct ingestion of flow M sap. Human uses. Maple syrup is made from reduced sugar maple sap. 
The sap often is harvested from the sugar maple Asa saccharum. In some countries harvesting the early spring sap of birch trees for human consumption is common practice. The sap can be used fresh or fermented, and contains xylitol. Preparations made from the sap of aloe vera are widely used for the purported soothing, moisturizing, and healing properties. Aloe vera gel is also used as an ingredient in commercially available lotions, yogurt, beverages, and some desserts. Note, however, that so-called aloe products such as aloes, aloe gel, etc., are not generally true sap. They are largely distinct substances, different from each other and different from the true flow M and cellular saps. They also are produced in different cellular structures, much as other distinct materials such as latex and resin are produced in special vessels in various other species of plants. Certain palm tree sap can be used to make palm syrup. In the Canary Islands they use the Canary Island date palm while in Chile they use the Chilean wine palm to make the syrup called miel de palma.